So after making the audio spy and the SOS button project using the A9G module, now let me show you what exactly I wanted to make using this tiny little board which in itself has a lot of applications in it. Let me show you all those applications one by one. So this is the multi-purpose IoT tracker and it can act as an audio spy project using which you can listen to all the conversations secretly over cellular network. Well, this can also be act as an SOS button whereby just pressing and holding on button, you can share your current location via SMS and also it can make a call on that SOS number. And now we had one more feature in it using which you can get the current location of this A9G board by just sending one SMS. Yes, by just sending one SMS, you will get the Google Maps link with its current location in it. Truly a multi-purpose device, right? So this video is all about how we made this project and how you can make it too at your home. So before starting this video, if you are watching me for the very first time, well consider subscribing this channel as I used to come up with these kind of interesting and useful projects in the field of IoT, automation and electronics. Well that being said, let's start with our multi-purpose IoT tracker project using A9G board. Do you know what most electronic companies have something in common? Well, it's the tool that they use for making their products and the most commonly used tool that almost all the big electronic companies uses is the LTM PCB designer software. Using LTM, you can definitely level up your PCB designing skills and make something really professional out of it. And now along with the integration of Octopart, searching for any electronic components globally becomes really very easy. Octopart is kind of Google for just electronic components where you can search for any electronic parts and get their information all on one single web page. So do check out this amazing search engine made just for electronic components. I'll leave the link for this down in the description. Do check it out. So for making this project, we'll need these all components and we are also selling all these components in a kit format whose detail I'll share by the end of the video. So the main part of this project is this A9G board which has built-in GSM, GPS and a battery charging circuit in it. And to provide command to this board, we are using the smallest ESP32 based board from Seed Studio. Now to make everything work properly, we need to connect all these components according to this schematic diagram. Now if you observe the schematic properly then you'll come to know that this time we haven't used any voltage regulator in the circuit and that's because we have provided the battery connection directly to the battery terminal of both the boards. Let me explain. So previously we made this project on a general purpose PCB and to provide the battery connection directly to Shao C3 board we need to attach the battery at the bottom side of the Shao C3 board where the terminals are provided which was very difficult in a general purpose PCB. But as this time we decided to go for a custom designed PCBs, we removed the voltage regulated part in it and decided to shoulder the Shao C3 board directly on the PCB in which we can easily give the battery connections or battery terminals at the bottom side. So now after designing the smallest form factor PCB for this project, we gave its order directly to JLC PCB. Now even you can try ordering your own custom designed PCBs from JLC PCB by following very simple steps. You just need to upload the Gerber file of your PCB project. After that, just select the number of PCBs. Also, you can select the PCB masking color of your choice. Here, I'll go for the green one. And after that, just place your order. Now, if you select the fastest delivery option, you may get the PCBs delivered at your doorstep within a week. So here are the PCBs received from JLC PCB and the PCB quality is really amazing. Now, JLC PCB do offers a couple of more services like the PCB assembly service and 3D printing service. I'll leave the link of both of them down in the description of this video. So do click that link and check out all the services provided by JLC PCB. So after receiving the PCB, we first try to shoulder the Shao C3 board on the PCB. And for that, first we got the stencil with just battery terminal pads on it, added some shoulder paste and carefully placed the Shao C3 board on it. After that, we put this board in the IC heater, set the temperature curve and after a couple of minutes, we got the board properly shouldered on the PCB. And after that, we shouldered all the other components one by one and after shouldering them all, the final PCB project looks like this. Neat and compact. Now here we cleverly attach the GSM antenna alongside the female buck strip, also attach the battery in between the two buck strips and stick the GPS antenna on the back to save the space. So that was all about the harder part of the project. Now let's jump onto the computer and let's have a look over the coding part. 
Okay, so here's the code for our multi-purpose IoT tracker project. Now, most of the lines used in this code are pretty much the same as we have used in the SOS button project. So I won't be explaining all those lines and all those, you know, logics that I have embedded in the previous code. Rather, I'll only explain how uh, I embedded the GPS tracker uh, feature in this particular code. I'll explain those lines only. And if you want to understand the rest of all the code, well, you can watch out our previous videos about the SOS button and the uh, audio spy project. Okay, let's start with this code. Okay, so first of all, the SOS button is attached at D3 and the sleep pin is attached at D2. Then we have to provide the SOS number on which we to make a call, send an SMS and also send the GPS, you know, locations this time. Okay, so this is the number on which all the things will happen. Okay, so after that, we have provided SOS time of five seconds. So whenever the button is press and hold for more than five seconds, uh, the SOS button or SOS condition will be triggered. You can change the time here by just changing to three, it will change to three seconds, but I'll keep it five for my case. Uh, rest of the thing like the variables are declared pretty common. After that, we are turning off the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for power saving that we also discussed in the previous code. After that, we are waiting for 20 seconds to A9G to get startup and make the connection with the GSM network and everything. Great. After that, we are providing a couple of AT commands. So you know, turn on the GPS, turn on the low power GPS and also turn on the sleep mode to one. Okay. So what we did is we'll be making the A9G board into the sleep mode until and unless we don't want to provide any AT commands, don't want to fetch the location. Okay. So in ideal condition, it will be in the sleep mode. Okay. Both GPS and the A9G board. Okay. So now going into the loop part where every logic is embedded. So first of all, what we are doing is we are comparing whether we are receiving an SMS called as send location. Now this is a trigger command, which I have chosen. You can choose your trigger command based upon your application. So what happens is whenever I send the send location command in SMS, when with everything written in capital letters only then and then only the uh, you know, A9G will trigger into GPS tracker mode. Okay, so as soon as the A9G receives this particular message, it will call a function called as get Google Maps link with a input of zero. So what we are doing is we are sending the location without making a call. Okay, so earlier whenever we are pressing and holding the SOS button, we are sending the location, we are also making the call. But here this time we don't want to make a call. So let's just see what's inside the get Google map link function. So here inside the get Google map link function, what we are doing is we are first of all fetching the data, like fetching the latitude and longitude data from the A9G board. As soon as we receive the data, so now there are two possibilities. Either we will receive the GPS coordinates, either we won't be receiving the GPS coordinates. In case we don't repeat uh, re receive any GPS coordinates maybe the uh, board is inside a room in indoors in office any of the situations we don't receive the GPS coordinate what we are doing this time is we are sending one SMS okay what what's that SMS is unable to fetch location please try again okay so this time we are also getting feedback when there is no location provided okay so this is the feedback and in case we are getting the latitude and longitude data what we are doing is we are you know making a Google Maps link along with the latitude and longitude that we have received from the A9G board and then we are sending that SMS to the SOS number with the format I am here along with the Google Maps link. Okay, so and if the make call variable is zero, uh, it won't make a call. And if the make call variable is one, it will also make a call after sending an SMS, which is the SOS button feature. Okay, we'll also discuss that here. So this is how we are, you know, sending the location based upon this trigger command. So this is the GPS tracker uh, we have made in the A9G board. Rest of all the thing is same. So we can make a call on the A9G board and to automatically receive that call. So it's an audio spy project. After that, you know. Uh, it can also work as an SOS button, which is provided here. So if the SOS button is pressed for more than five seconds, which is the SOS time, the Google Maps link with the data one will be called, which is sending location with a call. So it will send a location when the button is pressed It also make a call so that the receiver can listen to all the conversation happening in those dangerous situations. So all the three features hammer in one single code and that's the IOT tracker or the multi-purpose IOT tracker project using A9G quite interesting, quite useful, quite convenient as well. So what I'll do is I'll provide my own mobile number here and after that upload this code onto my Shao C3 board and let's just test this project working live in action. So after uploading the code, first of all, I'll insert the SIM card onto the A9G board. Now here I'm using my VI SIM card, but you can choose any SIM card from the network provider that provides 2G bands or 2G connectivity. Once again, the Geo SIMs won't work here. So after inserting the SIM card, I inserted the A9G board into the PCV, attached all the antennas onto the proper connectors, turned on the power switch and I'll press and hold the power button on the A9G board to boot up this device.
Okay, the blue light got turned on. That means the board is powered up successfully. Now the great part is here we can charge the battery using the A9G board with the micro USB cable or with the Xiao C3 board with the Type C cable. So it's your choice. You can charge the battery with both the boards. Okay, now let's test this device. So I'll place this device outdoors so it can get the proper GPS connectivity. And now I'll come into indoors and I'll type one message called as send location in which everything is written in capital letters and hopefully it should send me a GPS coordinate with a Google Maps link in it. Okay, so we got the message which says I am here along with the Google Maps link and when I open this on my Google Map application, as you can see, here is the location which is quite close to the location of my studio where the device is placed. So this GPS tracker is working perfectly fine and I can send the SMS n number of times and I can get the location or the live locations whenever I want to receive. So this kind of device can be really very useful for all your children who so are going to the school. So you can drop this device in, your, in their school bags, uh, wherever you want to track anything, maybe your purse, maybe your uh, car you can place this small little device in any of those you know bags and cars and you can track them whenever you want and not only that it has the other two features as well as I discussed the audio spy feature and the uh, what we can say SOS button feature now here in this device I have provided one extra button whose you know use case I haven't decided yet so it's an extra button in which uh, you can you know program it on your choice maybe you can you know make that button to particularly make a call to a particular number it's your choice it's an extra GPIO pin, it's an extra button, program it according to your choice, your demand, your requirement and your ideas. Not only that, we also provided a port to attach speaker in it. Yes. So this A9G board has a dedicated pins to attach a speaker. So what we can do, we can make a walkie talkie like thing as well. So I can attach a speaker on it. I can make the call and I can, you know, talk to the person using the A9G board because it is built in mic and we have attached the external speaker as well. So it's a truly multi-purpose IoT tracker device that has a lot of application. Well, do click the like button if you really love the concept, really love the project that we have built. Okay. Now coming back to the point about the IoT, uh, like multi-purpose IoT tracker kit that we are selling. So of course we are selling all the components which are visible in your screen right now through our website at an amazing price. Now here was one problem. So we have the stencil and we have the IC heater through which we can, you know, shoulder the Xiao C3 board onto the PCB. But many of you may not be having such tools sitting at your desk or lab. So what we decided will be sending you the Xiao C3 board already shouldered on the PCB and all the other components in a kit form so without shouldered form okay so finally you'll receive a kit along with these all components the PCB has already the Xiao C3 board shouldered on it and this is available for sale on our website whose link is attached down in the description of this video as we have very limited stock of Xiao C3 board so ultimately this kit also comes with a very limited stock quantity so make sure you get one for yourself right now after watching this video and yes one more thing I want to announce we are coming up with an IOT course where we'll be teaching all the things from basics like which hardware to choose details about ESP32 details about or starting with the Arduino programming what are libraries what are functions everything and also we'll be discussing about what is MQTT how to use MQTT protocol for different different cloud platforms for AWS for cloud MQTT for Adafruit MQTT everything we'll be discussing in that course which is a seven day course starting from 7th of January whose details are also mentioned in the description I'll highly suggest for all those people who want to start with IoT this is a perfect course for you and I'll be teaching that course and this is a live course so it will you will all will be interact with, interacting with me live so all your doubts queries will be solved in that live uh, live session itself so do register do enroll for that course all the links are mentioned in the description that being said I'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video then explore learn share with me techie sms and hey, I forgot, I wish you a very happy 2023. May all your dreams come true. May you get the success that you were chasing for since so long in this 2023. And hope Techie SMS grows to the newer, newer heights and help a lot of people in the community through our platforms. That's the goal of 2023. I wish you all the best for that.